Hey, welcome back to Stebbins Garage. I'm Bill and we're in my garage right now. However, I've got some exciting stuff for me, a new piece of equipment. We're gonna go inside because it's gonna live inside. So let's go check that out right now. So my 3D printer has just arrived. Heidi's checking it out. This is a Bamboo Labs H2S. It's going to be pretty massive and I need to get it downstairs. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, somehow I have to get that down there. Did you just walk in front of the camera? Ugh. Don't mind the mess, but let's go over here to where I keep the printers. Yeah, my kids need to clean out their playroom. I am working on some parts right now. So that's the A1, that's X1 Carbon. Right there is going to be the H2S. So I just need to move it however far that is and then get it up on the table. Come on, man. Functional fitness. Let's go get my son-in-law. I forgot to hit record, but thank you, Nason. We got it up here on the table. I'm just gonna go ahead and unpack everything off of it now, and then we'll get to set up. Okay, so this right here is what's called the AMS. It will look similar to this and it holds the filament and that's how it feeds the different colors. The way that they do this is uh, when they ship it, it has different uh, ways it's bolted in. That way they can make it more compact. So I have to unscrew all this stuff. You can see they do a nice job with the red. So you know what to unscrew to take it out and then they, all these little foam things will have to come out too. Um, and then there's the build plate already installed, which we'll need to clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this out and then we'll start getting everything connected. So I have an Allen driver. They include some Allen screw key things, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take all these screws out You don't have to watch me, we'll just skip ahead.
tweet it. Okay, so I'm putting the AMS on here. This line is really long and every time that we change filaments, it's got to travel that whole distance. So we're going to shorten that. We just want it to have to travel just a little bit of distance. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And now we can shove this in here. All right. Now our AMS will allow us to just that's all the filament has to travel, which will be quicker. The last thing we gotta do is plug in our power connector. And there we go. We've got the AMS connected now, which is where our filament's gonna go. And this is telling us we need to update the firmware. So not a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that now. And as you can see, there's an update for the H2S along with the AMS2 Pro, which is that. Those need to be on the same version so that they can talk. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then once that's done, we'll do another calibration. Then we can start printing. All right, well, we're printing. Uh, printing a little, it's called a poop shoot, but it's basically a, when the printer um, purges filament, it goes out the back. And so you need something to catch it. So that's what it is. And we're printing that. Looks like it's gonna take about four hours. Let me show you a time-lapse of that. And there we go, well, about four hours later, four hours and one minute later, we're done. Print quality looks good. Nice. This is just to catch all the extra filament that comes out the back. So, straight out, didn't have to do anything but run the calibration. I'm happy with that. So that's gonna pretty much do it for the Bamboo H2S. We're all set up and ready to start printing. You'll see that more in a future video when I start working on how I do the badges. I, I know some of you have expressed some interest in that, so I'm gonna show you how we do that. But in the meantime, I have this 98 Integra Type R behind me that I'm trying to finish up for Rad Revival in just a couple days. So I'm gonna get back to work on that and I'll see you on the next one.